name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace and peace of God our Father, and the Lord Jesus Christ, in the communion of the Holy Spirit, be with you all. We gather together to continue celebrating the joyful event of the resurrection of our Lord. Let us, as we prepare, call to mind our sins and pray for God's mercy and pardon. I confess, oh my God, to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have remissed in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my faults, through my faults, through my most grievous faults. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, of a virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May the Almighty God have mercy on us. May He forgive us our sins and bring us all to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest and on earth, peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who give constant increase to your church by new offspring, grant that your servants may hold fast in their lives to the sacrament they have received in faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, for he lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the day of Pentecost, Peter stood up with the eleven, raised his voice, and proclaimed, You who are Jews, indeed all of you staying in Jerusalem, let this be known to you and listen to my words. You who are children of Israel, hear these words. Jesus the Nazarene was a man commended to you by God with mighty deeds, wonders, and signs which God worked through him in your midst, as you yourselves know. This man, delivered up by the set plan and foreknowledge of God, you killed, using lawless men to crucify him. But God raised him up, releasing him from the throes of death, because it was impossible for him to be held by it. For David says of him, I saw the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Therefore, my heart has been glad and my tongue has exalted. My flesh, too, will dwell in hope, because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your Holy One to see corruption. You have made known to me the paths of life. You will fill me with joy in your presence. My brothers, one can confidently say to you about the patriarch David that he died and was buried, and his tomb is in our midst to this day. But since he was a prophet and knew that God had sworn a note to him that he would set one of his descendants upon his throne, he foresaw and spoke of the resurrection of the Christ, that neither was he abandoned to the netherworld, nor did his flesh see corruption. God raised this Jesus, of this we are all witnesses, exalted at the right hand of God. He poured forth the promise of the Holy Spirit that he received from the Father, as you both see and hear. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Keep me safe, O God. You are my hope. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Keep me, O God, for you I take refuge. 
I say to the Lord, my Lord, are you? O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night, my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand, I shall not be disturbed. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld, nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. You will show me the path to life, fullness of joys in your presence, the delights at your right hand forever. Keep me safe, O God, you are my hope. Please rise for the gospel acclamation. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. This is the day the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. Alleluia, alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Mary Magdalene and the other Mary went away quickly from the tomb, fearful yet overjoyed, and ran to announce the news to his disciples. And behold, Jesus met them on their way and greeted them. They approached, embraced his feet, and did him homage. Then Jesus said to them, Do not be afraid. Go tell my brothers to go to Galilee, and there they will see me. While they were going, some of the guard went into the city and told the chief priests all that had happened. The chief priests assembled with the elders and took counsel. Then they gave a large sum of money to the soldiers, telling them, You are to say his disciples came by night and stole him while we were asleep. And if this gets to the ears of the governor, we will satisfy him and keep you out of trouble. The soldiers took the money and did as they were instructed. And this story has circulated among the Jews to the present day. The Gospel of the Lord. Immediately after we celebrate the greatest feast, which is Easter, we find the enemy still at work. People trying to convince others that the resurrection did not occur. Money is changing hands, and Roman soldiers of all people are supposed to tell this story that they went to sleep. That's a very serious offense for a Roman soldier to say that I fell asleep. And then the elders say, we will sort it out with the governor. But beloved, Jesus had instructed Mary Madeline and the disciples to go out and to tell everyone that he had risen from the dead. Hallelujah. Jesus indeed is risen. And this is a fact that we can no longer conceal. As we have, as we celebrated and remembered and commemorated the very sad event of the passing of the Lord, so to speak, as we came and saw the bare sanctuary, every altar, every statue covered, stat um, flowers missing, candles missing, altar bare, it seemed as though the earth was still and it seemed as though everything had come to an end. And now the Lord is risen from the tomb. Hallelujah. And we are joyful about that. The sanctuary tells it all. The beautiful lilies decorating the altar tells it all. The white garment tells it all. We are the ones who received the good news of Jesus' instructions that they should go and tell everyone that indeed he is risen. My brothers and sisters, 
it has become your responsibility and my responsibility to tell others that indeed Jesus has risen from the dead. The meaning of that is simply this, that in all our lives, in every activity that we go through, even if things seem so bleak and even if things seem to be destroyed, let us have hope and grow the hope and present the hope before the Lord to bless it. Let us have faith and grow the faith and bring the faith before the Lord before us and let us ask the Lord to bless our faith in the fact that Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and that because he is risen, we too can face tomorrow. Because he lives, I can face tomorrow. Because he lives, all fear is gone. And now I know, yes, I know he holds my future. And life is worth the living just because he lives. That's the message of Easter. Shall we rise and present our petitions before the Lord? For the church, may the Holy Spirit continue to bless and sustain all who live a holy mission. We pray to the Lord. For the people of the world, may the good news of Jesus Christ guide all nations and people to peace. We pray to the Lord. For all who are struggling with addiction, may the healing presence of Jesus transform their lives for the better. We pray to the Lord. For all of us gathered in this holy place, may the blessings of this Easter season fill us with joy in the Lord who calls us to be his chosen people. Let us pray to the Lord. For all who have passed away, may the Lord grant them eternal life and may perpetual light shine upon them, we pray to the Lord. For Joseph Gliwa and Gladys Josio, for whom this Mass is being offered, that the Lord will grant them eternal rest, we pray to the Lord. That each one of us will be convinced in our hearts and spread the news that Jesus is risen, and that we too will be able to face tomorrow victorious, we pray to the Lord for peace in our lives and in our hearts, for peace in our homes and for peace everywhere, for peace in Russia, in Ukraine, in the Gaza, in Palestine, in Israel, for peace in the Haiti and everywhere where there is turmoil, we pray to the Lord. Look, O oh God, with favor upon the prayers that your people have brought before you, we pray through Christ our Lord. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this bread to offer, which earth is given and human hands are made, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, through your goodness we have this wine to offer, fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. God, we ask you to please the sacrifice which we offer to you, with humble and with contrite hearts, those these which are made of my Let's leave for all my sins. Let us pray, my brothers and my sisters, that our offering, yours and mine, may truly be acceptable to God, the Father, the Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Amen. Let us pray. Accept graciously, O Lord, we pray, the offerings of your peoples, that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism, 
they may attain unending happiness through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord, but on this day, above all, to love you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying he has destroyed our death, and by rising he has restored our life. Therefore, overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise, and even the heavenly powers of the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they are played. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Be holy, therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit to our hearts as we do fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of our faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Father God, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be guided into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, John our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face and have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, our glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Savior's demand and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await your blessed hope on the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give to you. Do not look on our many sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, you who live and reign forever and ever. Beloved, may the peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us now share the peace of Christ with one another. Peace be with you.
Our spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. May the grace of this special sacrament, the grace of this Paschal sacrament, abound in our minds. We pray, O oh Lord, and make those you have set on the way of eternal salvation worthy of your gifts through Christ our Lord. Saint Michael the Archangel. The memorari, remember, O most gracious Virgin Mary, that never was it known that anyone of virtue was left on the head, inspired by this confidence, to fly up to the O Virgin of Virgins, our mother. To you be denied for you and sinful and sorrowful, O Mother of the Word incarnate, despite of our petitions, but in your mercy, hear and answer them. Our Lady of Lords, pray for us. The Lord be with you. May the Almighty God bless and keep you, Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia, alleluia. Have a wonderful day. Christ the King of glory now.